Welcome back to Caffeine Confessionals. We are here once again for another Double Agents player preview. Five things you need to know about Nelson Thomas. Number one, in terms of basic stats, Nelson is 32 years old. He's 5'8", around 180-ish pounds. He's been on six seasons of the challenge, has made it to one final, has a career 9-3-1 elimination record. That is third most male elimination wins all time. Along with that, he has the only tie in elimination history. Number two, Nelson has gone into at least two eliminations on five out of the six seasons he's been on the challenge. That doesn't say a lot of good things about his social political game, but it does acknowledge the fact that he has to win an elimination to get into that second elimination. <laughs> Nelson is the modern day elimination king. He's won an elimination on all six seasons he's been on, and that's a record. So, you know, Derek Kay, Wes, Leroy, Nelson is with those guys all time in terms of like elimination wins and is bound to be setting records in the future. Number three, in terms of strengths, Nelson's personal fitness is off the charts. He puts in so much work into the gym and has almost more heart than anyone. Despite being, you know, 5'8", 180, he can go pound for pound with people who are in that 200 pound range because he, I mean, the guy's a beast. You saw the way he pushed back Rogan last season in that Hall Raw elimination. Rogan described Nelson's body as being made of sheet metal. Like, the guy is a boss. Number four, in terms of weaknesses, Nelson has a lot of them. Sorry. His swimming is obviously pretty poor. He isn't a puzzle person. And when it comes to daily challenges, he's clumsy, doesn't think well on his feet. And essentially, if it's not an elimination or it's not head-to-head -head physical, he struggles. It's not his fault. He's just not a natural athlete. He's incredibly fit, but doesn't have the athletes in mind in him. Number five, Nelson is the challenge star that MTV never expected. You could tell with Rivals 3 that they wanted Amanda and that Nelson was the bonus that came with her. Uh, for Invasion, he wasn't put in a big role. He was, you know, behind people like Corey and Dario, yet by winning eliminations and almost winning the season, Nelson just rose up the ranks like crazy, got himself cast for the next season, Dirty 30, and even then, they positioned him as Corey's sidekick. Whereas, when you watch the show, Nelson was the star and Corey was the sidekick because Nelson was the one winning eliminations. He beat Hunter, the guy that eliminated Corey. As a whole, Nelson has found a really good role on the show. Sometimes as a supporting character, sometimes as a major character, and then sometimes as a minor character as well. He's brought good entertainment, bad entertainment, and is important to the show's history. It's kind of crazy to say that because He's still a live acting player, but in 10 years, you know, people are going to remember Nelson fondly because he had an important impact on the show. Can Nelson win this season? I'm not going to say no because Nelson has been very close to winning in the past and he has the heart and the cardio and the strength to win a final. He just doesn't have the puzzle or swimming ability and he hasn't won a lot of daily challenges in his career. He needs the power to get that far and he needs the big threats to be out of there. Then again, in this Red Skull format, Nelson isn't someone you want to face in elimination because he has an impressive elimination history. Do I think he can win, though? I don't know. It's really tough. I wish Nelson could get a win. It'd be really cool to see Nelson win, but I don't think it's going to happen. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe.